hey what's up guys how's it going welcome back to another video and if you're new to this channel can you smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so anytime i upload a new video you guys will be notified so this is gonna be a short uh course on fiverr keyword research and uh i noticed like people are finding it so difficult to get some keyword ideas for their gigs so it's kind of like very hard to be competing with big sellers like level one sellers level two top rated sellers and you know if you are kind of like near to fiverr you might find some things difficult and getting your first order might be a a hard part of it so but i believe in this video and if you do everything as i share you in this video i believe you'll be able to secure your first order and keep getting order on fiverr as fast as possible so i'll be walking you through the whole process on how to discover your own keywords for your gigs in your niche and how to implement it in your gig to make sure your gig actually work perfectly so this is fiverr official website so we're gonna be using um you know like there are a lot of categories on fiverr so we have graphics design um programming and text digital marketing video animation then um writing and you know most of this if you check on the logo design page you know that they are actually big competitors if you check on programming there are a lot of competitors there digital marketing as well as um video and animation including writing so this method is going to teach you two ways to to find a keyword that you can actually use on your own gig so we're going to be using uh graphic design uh category first so we'll be using uh let's say uh graphics design entirely so and if you check on the url here you already know that i already click on this which means uh, i'm gonna be seeing all the categories on fiverr based on uh graphic design so any categories any subcategories under this um this main category i'll be able to see them so if i scroll down i can see logo design web and app design ads and illustration so everything that that is here i'm gonna be seeing them down here as well so like i said it's of two ways to do the research so let's say you wanna do your research based on this entire category so but then you know that might also take you much time to do but then if you already know your main category that you are targeting that will also make it more easier but the second method will even make it more easier like extra easier for you so now let's choose a logo design let's say you are a logo designer for example and you know there is no special thing in this so far you already know your category if you are in under programming and tech you might just do website um, business website so it's still the same way if you are under digital marketing you might be a video seo expert you can just click on video uh, seo and if you are under video uh, animation you can just do video editing if you're under writing you can just do article and blog post so it's still the same thing that you're gonna be using so let's just make use of the logo design subcategory so I'm gonna click on that right here so you can see I'm seeing gigs already with over 250,000 sellers or gigs available on this category which means uh, you're gonna be seeing what we want to do exactly so the next thing for you to do is to copy this page url copy the url from the url bar section so just copy the entire url then open a google keyword planner i already make a full video <clears throat> i already make a full video about that so i'd make a full video about google keyword planner if you don't know how to do that you can find the video on the top right or left corner here on how to get your own google keyword planner without running ads so here 
you can see discover new keywords and get search volume and forecast so this is the option we're going to be using which is discover new keywords and here you can see start a new keyword and start with a website we don't want to start with a keyword because we don't know the keyword we are actually targeting so we want to extract keyword from a website so i'm going to paste that website that link to that page which is the link to this particular page right here so i copy the url bar from the a link from the url bar here then i paste it on google keyword planner and you can see right here this is the um the link to that particular page so i'm gonna click on use only this page because that is the only page i want to uh find keywords on and you can see use the entire website we don't want to use the entire site because this is just for the graphics or logo design page we are interested in so without waste too much of the time so you're just, just gonna click on use only this page i'm gonna click on get result which means this google keyword planner is going to extract all the keywords under that page for us so you can see right here so we have over 2000 keywords idea available on that page you can see fiverr logo maker fiverr logo design fiverr logo logo designs and if you check right here, you're gonna see how people are searching for it the average search volume which is from 10,000 to 100,000 10,000 to 100,000 and people that search for logo design services from 1,000 to 10,000 so now let's say you want to discover a very low competitive keyword so just click on this average monthly search so once you click on that you can see it has already changed from 100k to 1 million logo maker free 100k to 1 million so just click on that again then you can see it has bring it down to the lowest level which means this keyword has searched from 10 to 100 per month which is pay someone to make a logo so now let's say for example we want to copy this particular keyword so i copy this pay someone to make a logo then i'm gonna go back to fiverr then open another tab i don't want to use this tab again so i'm gonna open another tab then put in that keyword just to check how many sellers available using this particular keyword so you can see right here it's 70 service available so it's very low competitive and all this uh, sellers are getting orders so you can see 22 reviews 37 reviews 13 reviews so you see this particular seller with two gigs so scroll down you're gonna see another sellers right here so this is kind of like you can see this particular one 492 uh, reviews which means people are actually searching for this keyword and it's very less competitive so let's uh, find another keyword so let's say we find pay someone first keyword with 70 gigs so go back again then you just have to find your own keyword that you believe that people are going to be using or people are going to be searching for you can see i asked someone to design logo same day logo design i think something like this will really make sense like same day logo design which means you have to de um, de deliver as fast as possible and if people are searching for this that means it's actually getting some attention you know put in same day logo design so you can see right here 1000 service available so people are also searching for this you can see i will create a logo design same day same day logo design price and same day turn around same day so you can see people are also inputting these keywords in their gig title so which means people are really really searching for this so this way you will discover thousands you will even get tired of how low competitive keyword you can find with this method because you are scraping fiverr data itself not like what people are uh, suggesting for you so 
you can just find this the right way without you clicking from one gig to another from one gig to another from one gig to another so you can see graphics uh designer for business logo something like this will also make a lot of sense so i'm gonna copy this then paste it right here graphics designer for business logo so this also makes sense so, but then you can see the competitors competition is actually kind of like kind of like somehow i which is hundred thousand um service available but trust me you're gonna be getting orders for this if you include that particular keyword in your own gig title because most of these sellers are not really um having the keyword but they have business uh, they have logo, they have design in their keyword. That's why Fiverr is suggesting uh, the gigs for us. But then if you create your own account and have this logo just like this in your gig title, it, you're going to be ranking, getting your gig rank on Fiverr. Trust me, this method works. Just make sure you have that, look, that keyword in your gig title, tags, as well as your description. So this is the first method to do a low competitive keyword research and you can see there are tons of them you can actually find. So you can see website and logo design naming. I need someone to design a logo for me. So thousands of keywords. This is the simplest way. You don't need any other tools. It's very easy this way to find a keyword. So now let's say the second method, you want to use the second method right here. So I'm going to go back to Google Keyword Planner click on discover new keyword then start with the website so here is the second method now i'm gonna use another category for this for this one so i'm gonna use writing and translation for example so let's say um blog post writing and i just want to be niche down to certain writing part let's say real estate real estate uh, blog post for example let me search for real estate blog blog post or real estate article writing for okay real estate article writing okay this makes more sense if you are in a real estate niche writing article for real estate i think this will, this will going to work for you best because you don't have to do the research again so far we already do the research for you in this video so i'm gonna click on search then let's see how competitive it is so you can see eleven thousand service available and you can see i'll write a 500 word real estate article i'll write content about real estate or finance or investing i will write original seo business legal real estate finance related blog post so here you know you already start for real estate article writing so you're just gonna copy the this page url so so i already copied the page url so let's try to find all the low competitive keyword for this page i'm gonna paste in the url then click on use only this page then click on get result then let's see what pops up okay fine so due to the fact that there is no more seller in it so we can find 559 keyword ideas for this so which also make it uh sound like make sense to me because i really don't like competing competing with a lot of people so um on that page these are the keywords that are available in there so fiverr real estate uh, website content writing website content writing fiverr content writing fiverr website design so these are the page these are the links that are available on that page real estate business website so so fiverr software development and um, you can see there are some other keywords that we think it doesn't related to that particular page but definitely uh you know there are some times that some seller will just create a gig in the wrong category it happens a lot of time like you you do writing but you have your gig under like real estate website design and you're also doing real estate uh blog content you know like everything will still show not every not because we actually search for real estate blog post writing that means only uh 
writing content would uh, Fiverr suggest for us. Fiverr can suggest anything based on the category uh, available on Fiverr. So you can also do the same thing to this to find a low competitive keywords. So here you can see, scroll down, real estate website platform, um, website design and social media management. <coughs> Sorry. So you just have to scroll down so you can discover different keywords based on your own. So real estate website landing page. Scroll down, then real estate website services email marketing for website development then website web design and app ad, app development uh like i really don't see one that talk about article writing really really but i believe if you do your research very you can see content writer and fiverr if you do your research very well you're gonna be seeing the right keyword that you can use and you can also manipulate all the keywords together in your gig title to make sure you are actually ranking so this way you're gonna be able to find a very low competitive keyword that you can use to rank your fiverr gig as fast as possible and i myself i don't like competing with a lot of people i prefer getting an order once in a while and make sure the order is actually worth it that i can charge any amount i like than competing with a lot of people or a lot of sellers and then at the end of the day my gig will be outranked i won't be able to even know where my gig actually belongs to or even if my gig is actually appearing on fiverr search at all so this way you can actually rank your gig and once you do fiverr will also recommend your gig to the right page which of course your gig belong to based on the category so you don't have to target high competitive keyword before you can rank your gig because that way it will be very hard for that gig to struggle to the first page you yourself you know like you won't even want to patronize someone that doesn't have any review on their gig compared to someone that have over 100 reviews on their gig so it's a different case so you just have to find your way to it and of course you can also manipulate whereby you're targeting some high competitive keyword and some low competitive keyword so anytime a buyer search for that low competitive keyword your gig will also show uh, and be recommended to to them so this way I believe it's gonna be easy for you to find a keyword that will definitely help your gig rank as fast as possible and you can apply this method to any category on fiverr and rank your gig to the right page thank you for watching and if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section below and i'll try as much as possible to reply to you as uh, immediately i see your message so thank you